Now we're going to sew the muzzle in place and we're going to put the top edge of the muzzle on the 19th or 20th row. I've already counted my rows and again you just count the rings starting at the top center circle here. Count the rings and on or about row 19 or 20. So you can see how it gets positioned there. This is sewn on this row and this muzzle sticks up above that. And you can see I've stuffed the muzzle and I've pushed the stuffing into the side so it's nice and wide in this area here. So when I stuff the muzzle I push it into the sides pushing that muz muzzle into shape. You can use lots of pins if you'd like to. Pins would be very helpful. I'm just going to hold mine in place and before you start sewing make sure everything is nice and centered. And what I do with mine is I get four holding stitches in. So I'll do the bottom, I'll do the sides, and I'll do the top, and then I'll sew around. So I'm going to get the first stitch in there. I'm just going to bring it down through the head and out anywhere. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to go back in the same stitch hole I just came out of, and I'm going to come up on the side. Okay, now we're just going to grab that bottom edge of the muzzle and I'm going to go into the head and I'm going to come out oh, I'll come up near the top I guess okay so you can see it's already helpful I got two stitches in there now this one is too high so I'm going to bring this and I'll go right back in the stitch hole I just came out of and I'm going to come up just below row I forget which row it's on 20 or 19 right near the top of that muzzle and now I will grab the top edge and go into the head and come out the side. And again I've come out too far so I'm going to go back in the same stitch hole and move it in forward a little bit. Make sure it's still exactly where I want it. Grab that edge and go into the head. And now you can just sew around and once you sew around, you're just going to keep repeating those steps all the way around. And when you do sew around, leave a little gap. Because once you're done, you want to check it all out. If it needs more stuffing, then you can stick more stuffing in there before you close up the gap. Okay, I've sewn all the way around. And now that I'm done, I can bring this out anywhere. Anywhere it's comfortable. And just knot off. knot it off and then hide the yarn tail inside the head and cut.